Hi everyone. I've got a 2000 club car here. Um, I started having trouble with it about a year ago. Started running kind of funny, cutting in and out, misfiring. Seemed to be okay when it was under full throttle. After a while, it would crank over and crank and just wouldn't fire anymore. So I started with the easy stuff, put a new fuel pump on it, cleaned the carburetor, started looking at videos on what the problem might be, um, started seeing the exciter and the coil pack and the uh, rev limiter, and of course I... I took the spark plug out, plugged it in, and put it on the motor for ground, and it showed spark, so I moved on. Well, I got to watching some videos, and the spark was definitely yellow and weak. It wasn't snapping, so I figured that's probably what the problem is. Um, some of the videos were a little confusing. I bought this first because it was cheapest. This is the igniter. And it would have went down here on the back of this bracket. But I wasn't aware that every golf car, club car after 97 and after doesn't have the exciter there. It just has the rev limiter and I tested that took the ground off of it hooked it back up bypassed it I guess saw that in a video and it didn't help so I assume it's still good if not that will be the next thing I fix so after I figured out that I no longer need this exciter because my golf cart is a 2000 it's newer than a 97 I ordered the new coil pack. It looks like that's the plug that would go into the exciter. I don't know. But it's built into this new coil pack. It wasn't that expensive. But the hard part to all this, and I've been avoiding it, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is why so many golf carts end up growing in the tall grass and end up in the dump people don't want to mess with this that coil pack is inside this cover right here got this outer plastic shroud and I've watched a lot of videos some people are taking the whole body off some people are taking the engine bolts out and lifting the motor up because some of the bolts especially one towards the back of this shroud it looks like it's just impossible to get out unless you do something like that I may be wrong you know about all this of course so I've come up with a crazy idea and of course there's a lot of people that would never do this I'm sure especially mechanic working on someone else's golf cart this one is mine I'm tired of messing with it I ain't doing all that Pull your carburetor off and everything, which I haven't seen anybody else do. There's a little plastic piece to hold your carburetor, and you can actually feel that coil right here. And in videos I've watched, I know it's right behind here. It rides on top of that metal, I don't know what it is, harmonic balancer or something like that. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut taking this plastic shroud I got a screwdriver jammed in there and it's pulled away to give me room and I'm gonna cut straight across here and I'm gonna cut right down from the center of that bolt that way I'm gonna put the bolt back in to hold both sides I'm gonna cut down to here and this ought to pop right off I've got some ideas on how to mount it back on look there's vent holes in this thing anyway it's obviously not meant to be 
freaking watertight or airtight or debris free or anything like that. So if there's some cracks in the in this when I put it back together, I hardly doubt it's gonna matter. But uh, here goes nothing. I'm gonna draw some lines. I'll be back. <laughs> 